Hello and welcome to the IBM Monitoring Academy. My name is Saurabh Nachne and I work with the Cloud Group. In this video, I'm going to highlight details on how do you gather historical data for OS agent reports. Specifically, I have recorded earlier videos in which I have explained how to install Tively Common Reporting TCR from the JazzSM Service Management Bundle. In addition to this, I have also recorded videos on how to import the OS agent reports in TCR once installed. I've also recorded a video which shows how to establish a Tivoli data warehouse data source connection, which connects the TCR database with the TDW in order to pull in the historical data and show it in reports. This video will take a step back and show you how to start collection of historical data on the OS agent server. If you look at the screen, you will see that the Windows OS agent is collecting real-time data at this point of time. If you hit the historical data collection icon at the top of the TEP client, you will see a host of options that are available for historical data collection. In here, I will configure historical data for the Windows OS agent. If you look here, there are already a few categories which have been created and historical data is already being collected for these attribute groups. For example, let's click on computer information. Here you will see that I have defined a collection interval. There is a collection location specified and there is a warehousing interval as well. For the collection location, I have the agent machine or the temps machine that I can choose in order to collect the short term historical data. In this case, I have selected the agent server. After these selections are made, the distribution is the next tab we need to focus on. In here, all the systems, all the Windows OS agent systems, which have been included in the NT underscore system manage system list will have the historical data collection on. So in my environment, all the Windows servers by default will be added to the NT underscore systems MSL. So the historical data will be collected on all these servers. As you can see, the distribution is on the Manage System agent. I'll go back to the Windows OS attribute groups definition and under computer information, if you see, I have summarized and pruned the data for specific time spans as well. These can change based on your requirements and it's not required to have all these classified. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I have made sure that I have yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, and hourly data for all the attribute groups that I have started the data collection on. And as you can see, the historical data collection has been started on each of the other attributes which have been listed below. Creating a new group requires you to click, right click the Windows OS tab you have in here and say new collection setting. Over here, I will define NT 
and whatever attribute group I want give it a particular description so in this case since this is a test I'll say test and under the attribute group I will select the associated attribute group once I select this and say OK you will see a new field pop in over here and once the summarization and pruning details have been defined you're pretty much set in order to start collecting the historical data for the particular OS agent. One other thing I would like to highlight in this case is the short term history files. Whenever you start the historical uh, data collection, as you noted, in my case, I have pointed the, the collection location to be Tema or the agent box. So if you go under the candle home and then go under the um, TMA ITM 6 underscore x64 folder uh, which is required as this agent is 64 bit and then I go under logs and history I will see all the agents for which historical data collection has been started now if I go under the KNT agent which is the Windows OS agent in this case you will see that there is a binary file and the associated definition or the dot HDR file for that for any specific attribute group you will see pairs of these for each of the other attributes group for which historical data has been started so this is one way to confirm that short-term history data is being collected and the date modified stamp on each of the binary files tells you the last iteration when data was actually collected. So this in general highlights how you collect historical data for a Windows OS agents. The same applies uh, to the Linux and the Unix um, agents as well. However, um, I will record a separate video highlighting uh, how and where uh, the historical data is collected on those servers. Since, uh, since it's a little different when it comes to the path and the location where the historical data gets registered, one other thing I also wanted to highlight was the other option was to collect the short term history files directly on the temps machine. Um, typically, um, we avoid doing that as there may be too many agents which will be reporting into the temps and that can create a lot of short term history files on the temps box so in order to you know um, have better performance um, this is one thing which I personally feel um, is a good thing to have as to have the short term history files directly on the agent server itself now once this is done we want to make sure that this short term history files actually get um, to the TDW as well. That involves, uh, you know, a few other things uh, which will need to be mentioned as well. Uh, we will cover this in a separate video where I will highlight how the tables get loaded in the TDW. And along with that, there are a few other tables which are specifically required for the OS agent reports, which will be highlighted in the other video as well. 
at this point of time i think uh, this video will give you a good idea of how do you start the historical data collection um, the historical data collection will be started for all agents in the exact same way as I've highlighted in here. So on your TEP client, you have to click the historical configuration tab and then depending on the agent that you need to start the historical data collection for, select that and create uh, the attribute group data collection sets. At this point, um, I will uh, pause and um, I will continue uh, the next steps required for populating the historical data in the TDW for the OS agent reporting structure. I hope you find this video helpful. I will mark uh, the link from the user guide which highlights the details of these steps as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from the IBM Academies. We really appreciate your feedback, so please feel free to use the comments box below. If you enjoyed this video, we would love you to check the thumbs up button. We have added several helpful links to the comments box, which will take you straight to our blogs and other videos. Thanks again for watching.